In this episode, one of my smallest probes in a long time flies by the moon looking for radiation. Jebediah uses the ScanSat mod to look for a landing spot on Mimis so that Hades can look at rocks for science! Alright, we are off with Moonar 4. This is one of the smallest rockets I have built in quite some time. A uh, tiny little payload. All it is designed to do is whip past the moon and get the radiation science that is going, uh, that is in, in space around the moon. But I have not yet collected. Unfortunately, I did build this as a flyby mission because I built it super on the cheap. And the reason why I say unfortunately is because perhaps I should think about putting something in orbit about the moon or about, and about Minmus that can collect radiation science so that the next time I get one of those coronal mass ejections it will be poised and ready because I'm pretty sure there's some science there to collect. This I guess is technically a new booster. I threw away a lot of my old boosters so this is a very lightweight booster. I haven't worked out the but it's pretty simple but I can you know you can it's just a couple of tanks. I actually this has now for the first time the advanced inline stabilizer the 1.25 meter reaction wheels so these are pretty awesome because once they're on your rocket you don't have to think about control surfaces or anything uh, plus there's a swivel on the bottom so this has no issues with control but pretty much what you see is what you get when you see the probe you'll see the probe ain't much either but I want to take a look because I'm pretty sure if I take a look at the science just let this thing do what it's got to do and take a look at the radiation scan about the moon. Now, I think here, take off the filtered by research. I have to click on radiation scan again. Uh, oh, this is, no. Oh, show only known subjects. Yes, that's what I want. So if I go back to the moon, I can do radiation scans on all its surface biomes, but see, yes, there would have been, if I had something in orbit about the moon, that would have been 10.8 science for me for free. And if I had something in orbit about Minmus collecting this global radiation science, it would have been 14.4 science for me. I built it on the cheap. What else is new? There's the whole, I mean, let's take a look at it. There's the whole thing right there. It only has, I think it's under 900 meters per second of delta V in it because all it's going to do is a flyby. There's going to be no way to get a capture with this. Well, I might as well do it. I mean, I built it. Oh, I will say, and I realized what was wrong with my, the ins final insertion part of my, uh, of my launch script. I went in and fixed it. And it was exactly what I was thinking about. It was the fact that it wasn't taking into account the severe limit that's on this thrust right now when it goes to calculate the burn. So you can see here, we're going to be starting to burn by Kerbal Engineer. It was just, or er, Kerbal Engineer, by Stock thinks it's going to be, it was probably just under two minutes when this popped in here. And here it says, we're no, 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 we're going to start to burn in 106 seconds. So that's in less time than this. So it's going to start to burn early. It's going to take into account see it here let's let's see this says, says 44 43 let's see when the 30 there's the 30 second warning and it's 40 seconds here so it's going to start to burn 10 seconds earlier than um than what stock thinks it would do if it were at full thrust but that's because the thrust is going to be severely limited here but that's okay i kind of like i like working with low thrust things rather than just boom full thrust all the time it's just three okay here we go three two one and go and look at that tiny bit of thrust everything's so nice and relaxed <laughs> but it should do a much better job with this insertion now let's see what it ends up with I think I'm still on the aim camera here. Reset camera. There we go. All right. Um, eh, not not super duper brilliant, is it? 
80 by 76 kilometers. Well, I guess we'll live with it. You know what we can do is just give a little bit more. Oh, did it not end the program? What happened there? Oh, it's still, is it still giving thrust? I don't know what happened. Oh, it ran out of fuel. Oh my gosh, okay. The booster ran out of fuel. Wowzers, okay. Um, okay, fine, we got this. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't realize I had built you so tight. All right, there's our little probe. 874 meters per second. That's enough to fly by the moon, but that's gonna be about it. So my plan here is to simply go around the moon in a retrograde direction so that my periapsis here ends up inside Kerbin's atmosphere, and then I can set this thing off and not think about it again. Kirschmuck, we're now hitting Kerbin. So we're coming out, gonna go around here, fly by, hit Kerbin, Bob's your uncle, all done. And of course, what all this is about is collecting science. Don't forget, I need 460 science. To unlock the antennas I need to reach out to Jewel, and I got that launch window coming up in the not too distant future. Out of fuel, what the heck? That should have been. Um, yeah? Okay, did I. I wasn't. Okay, I am really confused by that one. I am definitely going back over the... Okay, this is still the videotape of this. <laughs> Looking at the numbers more closely, I thought for sure this thing had plenty of fuel in it. The burn indicator told me I had plenty of fuel. Well, whatever. I mean, it's going to accomplish its mission. It's going to fly by the moon. Um, it's not, unfortunately, going to the orbit. It's going to stay in this idiot orbit for all of eternity uh, until the moon hits it and messes it up again. Hey, okay. Well, whatever. Yep, we're working now. Collecting radiation scans above the moon just gonna time warp this this thing of course is dead <laughs> we should be transmitting this as we go yep here let's put it on the data view there we go 10.8 oh we're done uh yeah that's the end of it and like i said this is a global in space thing so yeah sorry charlie but this folk this uh that's all she's going to get. So what are we at now? What are we at now? What are we at? Science. There we go. 159. Oh, God. We just need barely anything to get the... <laughs> okay. Uh, what's up next? On our... Well, we're back to the Kripalo 5. It is almost at Minmus. All right. Coming in towards the end of our Minmus insertion. Close enough to 12 by 12. Happy with that. Earn complete. Program ended. So close that. Um, we are not. No, it's, can we do an EVA? I just. Okay. If we do an EVA report, is there anything to get? No. So we'll get back in. That was useless. And we knocked off two off the EVAs available. I don't know. I don't understand. I thought that should be three. Now we've knocked off two. It's so... Ah, there's got to be something that's happening. Okay, anyway. um, There's really nothing to do but to get us down to the surface here. Now, I just want to go back to the Space Center just very briefly. 
Here we go. We expect you can find one of these in the lowlands, flats, or great flats biome. So let's start thinking. So I want to go to one of those for sure. I'm pretty sure I've been in lowlands before. Lowlands, flats, or great flats. Okay. We have done EVA reports in the midlands and the greater flats. We have done, let's look at temperature scans because I have landed probes down here. Probes have done Midlands, Lowlands, and Greater Flat. So stay out on the Lowlands, but either the Great Flats, Flats or the Great Flats. So let's open up Gansat map. And we are looking at a biome map of Miminus and our trajectory nicely superimposed on top of it. So there are Great Flats there. Those are lesser flats, or I can do flat flats. So you can see this blue one is your predicted orbit moving forward, and the orange is what's behind you. So you can see from this, this is what's really nice too, as E as E as Minmis rotates, you can see how much um, this progresses, right? Each time with an orbit, we move about this much in this direction. Lesser flats, greater flats, greater flats. There's flat flats. This is the night side. I don't want to land in the night, so let's think about... Like our orbit, the shadow moves westward, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm thinking... Well, that group of flats is going to come into the light first. So let's time warp for a bit. we got tons of life support, but what I'm really eyeing is... This group of flats right here might be good, or we can go to here. The sun is going to be coming up pretty soon. I think what I need to do, though, is do a little bit of an inclination change. So when we're about a quarter of the way, which is about now, and I need to go <laughs> burn normal. So let's put this on the normal vector. This is where these maps are just really useful because I can just see from my projected predicted trajectory that if I zoom in on this if you just zoom how do you get the mini map zoom map there we go and if I want to make it to here that's what I want to look at how do I get that I thought there's a way to get the map. This is locked on. Okay, locked to the position of the vessel. There we go. That's what I wanted. And we'll zoom out here a little bit. Perfect. So this is where these maps really help. So this is the great... No, just flat flats. These are just flats. But you can see my predicted trajectory is just about to hit, but I wouldn't mind it that being a little bit more right into the flat flats. That gives me more to do. So what I need to do is burn in a normal direction, right about now. And then we can watch this. See how that, that predicted trajectory. Perfect, just like that. So even though when we take a look, let's get rid of all these maps. Even now, when we take a look at this map, it looks like I'm going to miss it by a lot. But of course, this is rotating. And I think we're also going to be in the light a little bit when we get there. I think this is all going to work out pretty well. Okay, so here's our target coming up here. Uh, our vessel has just appeared on our mini map. I'm going to start to think about... And again, I got 400 meters per second still left in this stage which we won't need all that this is what happened last time too should probably extend those landing gear so we'll be ditching these just as we come close to the surface so we're just gonna kill let's completely kill off velocity here use as much of the fuel that's in this stage as i can because i'm gonna lose it anyway there we go. Stage. Now push that back onto here, and that should mean I should not land right on top of that thing. 
And that thing's just gonna bounce off the surface anyway. Oh wow, we're really close to it. <laughs> I was hoping to be a little okay, we're down. <laughs> right the side of it. That kinda worked. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're in the flats. Okay, we should be definitely collecting okay, let's get rid of this window. Let's let's turn off trajectories entirely. Didn't use that at all. There. Uh, we should be definitely collecting stuff and getting ready to transmit it. We are. There we go. Lots and lots of science. Time warp away. All of this stuff will transmit it all. Sun's coming up. Okay, that's that. Science transmitted. A little bit of a hop. We are not in the sunlight yet, but we darn well should be pretty soon. Okay, let's deploy the ladders. Oh, that tank is... Maybe we'll get somebody to try and push that out of the way. But first things first, we'll get Hades out. She'll do an EVA report and a surface sample. Oh, uh, what is it here? Oh, transfer data here. Yep, there we go. Okay, and now we got to look for some green sandstone i did notice something nearby to our landing spot as we were coming down so we'll get hate us over there come on get out of there we go okay we'll get ourselves over to that stone because i think that's the green stone that we need see i thought always in the past you needed like that drilling equipment and stuff but you don't we'll see that in a second but one of them yeah you can push this come on Ah, everybody feels like Superman in space. <laughs> Alright, that's awesome, that's awesome. Okay, um, I don't even know. How far away is that? No, let's, let's EVA. Pay particular attention to, or like, obviously we are EVA. I mean, let's use our EVA pack what I'm saying now hopefully this isn't just a terrain texture but it does look I can see the sparkly terrain textures all up there but I got a feeling it looks a little different this is quite the thing for our new recruit scientist and just plunk it down EVA oh it just got transmitted oh I was sorry I was reading the EVA report and forgot to break her fall. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, she seems okay. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of thingy. So what you need to do is just approach it. And this comes with the Breaking Ground DLC. But I think you just then over oh, right into it. Is you use... There should be a button here. Pretty, this isn't a trick. Oh, maybe this is just a texture. I am just walking through it. Shoot. Okay, if you can just walk through it, it is a terrain texture. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so this is nothing. If she comes out the other side. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay. Maybe that. Okay, let's go over there. That looks a little different. I should just turn off terrain texture, shouldn't I? That would make a lot more sense. That definitely looks like something. That's... Hados is using her vast scientific experiment experience... There we go. <laughs> to determine that this is something of interest. Definitely looks like something of interest. And again, it shouldn't be a texture. You shouldn't be able to walk. No, see, it's, I'm bumping into it now. So now you click on this person. Hate us here. And there should be an opportunity. Oh, I saw it there. Something's happening. Okay, let's get right on top of it. No. Pick up green stone. So you hit that and pulls out the little pick. Chippy chip. And 
we have greenstone and it's 135 science that you cannot transmit as you can see you got to carry it with you but boom we got ourselves some greenstone well done i could definitely use the 135 science and of course there was a contract associated with that too okay and we'll put our greenstone away I like that you have to do the little jump to get in there. Okay, and transfer data there. I'm assuming that will do it. Maybe not. Okay, forget it then. But what I do want to look at is this container right here. I think I can probably reach it from here, right? Uh, let's deploy those because I just, uh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> and inventory so inside here is this this universal storage advanced goo unit I, I'm hoping that that's what I need for this gather surface deployed mystery goo observation so we are going to put that into no that doesn't work that way does it no because this is a KAS I think it works with I don't know which way does this work? Got two different inventory systems. That seemed to work, so we'll live with that. Okay, so let's get down. Drop. Okay, so what do we do here? Open our inventory. Oop. And what options do we have? We have equip. This item can only be used by a Kerbal with skill, and it said skill null. Are you kidding me? Advanced Goo Unit contains two Goo Reservoirs. Both can be used to store equipment data, doubling capacity. Is it because she's a level zero scientist? I can't... Use... Oh, nope, she's not doing anything. She's just doing... I got a feeling I am botched on this. This can only be used with a Kerbal with skill null. She has skill null? <laughs> no. And if I use it, nothing seems to happen. I got a feeling... She can probably drop it. Can she drop it? She can't even drop it? Nope, she can't do anything with it. Oh my gosh, and I went back to the VAB and read over the description carefully, and there's absolutely no mention of a minimal level that the Kerbal needs to be, so I'm not sure what's up with this. So either it's borked, or I have to get a higher level scientist out here to give it a go. But either way, well... Well, I guess there's other things to do. So this is the second time now I'm not getting this contract. Let's try and deploy some of the stock science. The last time I was on Mimis deploying this stuff is I had an engineer deploy it and then a scientist turn it on. But apparently what you want to do is have a scientist do everything. So yeah, a scientist deploying the equipment is five times the value that a non-scientist doing it. But the level of the scientist makes a difference. Unfortunately, again, level zero Hades doesn't exactly help here, does it? So, come on, Hades, let's do some. Well, no, she did do some. She got that green stone. She did that right. And now we're going to see if we can get this going. But clearly, it would have been better to have a higher level scientist. But such is life. Okay, that is now... I know this is a F for interact. She doing it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's how you push the buttons. Excellent. I like that. Does she have to interact with all of these? Nope. And. I don't think, yeah, oh, I saw, interact. Okay. We were nicer to that one. Alright, so hopefully now 
This is actually collecting some science for me, please. Maybe, maybe. It says zero science points per hour. The status is unpowered. Did I screw us up again? Do I need more solar panels? I thought... I needed more solar panels in this. This is not going well. I thought last time I had too many solar panels. But now I clearly have too few. So this is producing, I think I needed two solar panels. Ah, la 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 la. All right. <laughs> Eventually I will do this right. I'm pretty sure. Ay 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 ay. What are we going to do? You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to hop to another bi biome, but not before Bill plants himself a flag. Alright, so we did the plant on flag on Minmus one. Okay, let's start considering nearby biomes. We still have 1,549 meters per second left. We only need about maybe 400-ish to get ourselves back home, so yeah, we can definitely do some hops here. There's highlands right on top of this. Look at this. There's a little zone right here. And it's highlands with slopes and then midlands and around it. That's interesting. And then lowlands. So it must be a hill. And then I can... That might be a good plan for our first little hop. About a heading of 240, I would say. So we're going to punch it here. Head that way. 40 this way, Dopey. About there. And we're going to watch our trajectory. We also want to watch our Apple Apps too, because we don't need it to get too high. Oh, okay. I can see now. You can think about this. i got to go more south, so we're just going to point ourselves southwards. And you want to put the trajectory definitely past okay there that's good got apple apps this is up to eight kilometers so we're gonna go a high pretty high so we'll we'll stretch this out once we get to apple apps a little bit we'll extend that trajectory pretty good all right let's spin this around and get ready Okay, uh, we are about a kilometer and a half above. I think we're now over that hill. What's it reading for the slope below us? 4.8 degrees. I think that's pretty good. Let's start killing this off and getting ourselves down. Okay, let's start doing our final braking here. Boink. We're down. No problem. Okay. SAS off. Descend those ladders. Again, how many EVAs we got? We got 33. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, we'll get Jeb out too. But we obviously, Hades has to go out to do her usual EVA report and surface sample, this time in the highlands, but as a bonus, there was a nearby slopes biome, that's part of the reason why I picked this place, it was just a short EVA pack ride away, so off she went, landing in that slopes biome, somewhere I'm not super comfortable putting an actual ship right now, but uh, I'm happy just getting this. There's also a Midlands biome nearby, but the Kerpalo 4 landed in the Midlands when it was in Min Mist, so there wasn't much point for that. And there is a Lowlands biome a little bit past that, but that's kind of out of range. I decided not to go there. And upon Hades' return, we got Jebediah to plant the flag this time. But you know what? I got 1,238 meters per second left in the vehicle. I could do this at least a couple more times, but I decided to cut this short. I'm going to do one more hop, and I already have in mind what biome I want to go to. Here okay, we got another ring that slopes with Midlands in the middle, but what we're really looking at, of course, we zoom out here, 
is here is a zone of great flats. I have, I'm going to check, but we have not been in the great flats, right? Minmus landed. No, we were in the greater flats, not in the great flats. So we're going to go to the great flats. We're going to call it, I think at that point, no more, no more hopping abouts. We're going to go purely westwards which is clearly away from the sun, that direction there. Um, and this time we're going from a high point to a low point, so we shouldn't need to get nearly as much altitude. So, uh, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Pitch over. Whoa, 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 my SAS is off. <laughs> oh, that adds to the efficiency of all this, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Again, let's try not to, oh my. Apple Wapsis is all hugely high. <sighs> That's okay. Okay, start to see the lights. Hundred meters. Oh, 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 engine malfunction. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, it's yellow, which means we should be able to fix it. Oh my gosh, reliability, of course. I wasn't even paying attention to that. And we've been doing a lot of flying and reigniting and oh, okay, 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 okay. We can, we can, we, we should be able, okay, let's, <laughs> okay, let's think about, oh my gosh, with all of this hopping, I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay, Bill should be able to fix this. Come on, Bill. Get you down there. Hopefully he doesn't even have to let go of the ladder. Let's see, click, service the engine. Duct tape, is there something it can't fix? <laughs> so, can we now inspect the engine? This will last for ages. Well, let's hope so. We'll get Bill back inside. Board. There he is. Okay, let's take a look at this engine. Okay. Got five, okay, 23 ignitions and five minutes and 50 seconds left. Oh, I really got to pay attention to this kind of stuff. So did Bill just do that? Bill might have just fixed this up. Bill might have just, you know what? You might be able to, with these engines, extend their reliability just by having engineers look at them every once in a while. That might not be a bad idea to get at. Anyway, science, science. We should be collecting science. What? We most certainly are, and transmitting it, and Hades is going to get out here, and we are going to get her to do everything. Get this done. So, you, uh, let's see here. We need to do a surface sample and an EVA report. And while that's going, we can get her to plant a flag, too. Why not? So, uh, ba -bum -bum -ba, plant a flag. There it is. And we'll make this our last hop. I think so. So this time, this is pretty good though. So this time it is the Carpolo 5, of course, once again. Landing 3. I don't think uh, Jeb wrote down which landing number it was. And this is time it's Hades. And science. <laughs> I don't know. For science. Okay, how's she doing here? She still has 10 seconds. Okay, done the EVA report. Seven seconds left on the surface sample. And honestly, I think I'm gonna call it because I don't think we really have any other biomes nearby that's really within any kind of, oh, we got them an anomaly. Probably a, uh, I'm not gonna spend the monoprop to get there have an anomaly indicator there but I think I'm gonna call this yeah we're gonna get her aboard hey we're off nice 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 more stuff being transmitted pretty good 
Let's make sure we get over this hill. I think we're good. All right. So science we have done. Still transmitting that temperature scan. And then everything will have been transmitted. And how many EVA reports did we have left? EVAs. We still have eight EVAs, so Bill needs to get out there and fix something he can. But according to this, I got five minutes of burn time left and 22 ignitions. So I think Bill must have added to these. I don't know. Oh, I'm pretty. Where's our science at, by the way? What? Where are we here? Science stuff. We have 473. Oh my gosh. Well. What did I need? I needed 3, 4, 60. I think I got it. I think I got it, even with what these folks aren't taking home, and I was all ready to go to the moon for no reason whatsoever. Wow, I was paranoid for no reason. Whoops, we are climbing close to apoapsis. Best get this orbital insertion done, but that's fantastic. So I can get those antennas. We can build that probe that's going to go to Jewel after it flies by Eve do right now is send these folks back home. Okay, KOS is just about at the end of this ejection burn. Okay, that's that. How did that do? That is perfectly acceptable. We are going with that. Alright, and with that, let's get ourselves back to the Space Center, because I think we got... Despite the hundreds of science that these folks are actually carrying aboard, I do think I have enough now to get what I need. Alright, so yeah, let's get in here. So what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We need to get eventually electronics, but in order to get that, I need to get advanced electric. So we'll unlock that one for 160. And now electronics becomes available for 300. And again, the whole purpose behind electronics is to unlock the Communitron HG-61. And I didn't notice the message here. But if we take a look here under tech, we are getting electronics. Oh, we got to wait for a prerequisite. It's going to take, okay, it's going to take almost five days for... Uh, advanced electrics which means it'll take even longer for electronics and it won't go until advanced electrics is unlocked so you know where I'm going with these upgrade points into research and development we're gonna go and we're gonna spend this on let's get the right one this one so we want to this will double the amount of science we are generating a day so we'll put that there now under tech it's going to take two days for advanced electric but probably close to double that so probably it'll take maybe six seven days for all of it to unlock but my jewel window is coming up in 42 days my eve to jewel window let's put it that way those antennas should be able to do it i can put those points i think safely somewhere else you know what no hell with it <laughs> This will be science forever now. I don't think I need to worry about science. So we put all that stuff towards science. So it'll take a little over a day for advanced electrics. Probably another couple of days for electronics. Uh, I've got my jewel window coming up. Oh, sorry. My Eve 2 jewel window coming up in 42 days. That leaves me plenty of time to build something. But obviously that's going to have to be for a future episode. So in the meantime, I thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon. That was smooth. Oh my God. <laughs> well done.